And you mentioned Glaber. We actually caught up with him after the trade that offseason. And he was in Miami. He was working out in Miami. He was obviously the big prospect that came over. And this tells you something about him. He was just the sweetest kid ever. We went, watched him do his morning workout, just conditioning, agility, all that good stuff. And then he said, are you guys hungry? I'd love to take you to the place that I eat almost every morning. So we go there like, of course, yeah, we'll film it. Let's do that. Great. And he insisted on paying. And we were like, Glaber, no, 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 no. Like we're taking up your time. We'd happily get (laughs) you breakfast or whatever it is we're eating right now as a thank you for letting us tag along for the day. He's like, no, 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 you're my guest. I'm paying. Don't think about paying. Uh, And then later in the day, we interviewed him and he had still been working on his English. So he had a translator. And at times he would stop and just say, I got this one and speak in English. So this was when he first got traded. This is when he first got traded. 19 years old. Yeah. So and one of the craziest things that he told me during that interview is something that his agent told him early on. He said that you have to surround yourself with people that speak English and get yourself out of your comfort zone. Because when you become a huge star, you want to be able to interact with the fans. And the sooner you start doing that, the better. So Glaber at an extremely, extremely young age, to his credit, uh, wound up rooming with guys that spoke English. So he was forced to learn on a daily basis. And for a kid that, you know, isn't even in his 20s yet to have the wherewithal to see that that could be very important throughout the course of his career and take himself out of his comfort zone in a new country. I mean, that takes a lot of guts to do. Credit to that kid. I, I'm going the other way on that. That just means baseball's too easy for him. Did you see him when he came up his rookie year and he stepped into the batter's box? It did look pretty easy. It still yeah. looks pretty easy. And while the, there will be ups and downs, he slows it down in the batter's box. You could tell. A moment I liked that was off the field from Glaber in his rookie year was, I believe you or, or someone asked him about the handshake with Didi. Uh, you know, what's the dance you do with? And he wanted to respond, it's a handshake. So instead of asking, instead of having the translator, he turned to Marlon and said, come say DJ handshake or something like that. And Marlon was like, handshake. He just asked him, how do you say this word? And then he translated it himself. I was like, I've never seen someone use the translator. Like you learned that word on the spot and then use it as your answer. I was like, this kid, this kid's like made for stardom. 